Hello students of class 9 as a part of environmental science today let me introduce the topic understanding our environment the term environment means surrounding of an organism further it means the sum total of all the forces materials and influences around us at a given time and place it's a complex relation of biotic factor or living organisms and the abiotic factor that includes climate, water, soil, air and solar energy. So, environment means surrounding. Surrounding is very very important for an organism. Why? Because only under a given temperature, geographical conditions, topographical conditions promotes the survival of an organism. Extreme temperatures and living conditions can hinder the growth of any living organism. Amidst it, as you all know that man is a super manipulator of the nature, hence he is known as the rational and the social factor. As you all know that the interaction between the living organism and the abiotic factor is known and as an known as ecosystem. Students, the interaction between the living organism and the abiotic factor. Abiotic factors are all those non-living things that support life on the earth. For example, it could be temperature, it could be sunlight, it could be water, it could be soil. So all these factors support the growth of organism. If these factors do not support, the life on the earth is difficult. And man has been meddling with these abiotic factors as well as the biotic factors. As I told you that man is the super manipulator of the nature. There are various activities of man that has adversely affected the environment. It would be primary activity, secondary and the tertiary activities. Primary activity basically involves the production or the growing or creating. The very primary activity of a man is agriculture where man is involved in growing crops. As you all know that for cultivation or growing of crops, soil is a very very important factor. And you know that soil not only helps in growing of crops but at the same time it also helps in growing of those plants and trees which is known as the natural vegetation and the green belt on the earth. Agriculture can deplete the soil and for the growing demand for the food more and more land is being brought under agriculture. It could be as a result of clearing forest also. This can not only deplete the soil but at the same time this can also have an adverse effect on the environment as you all know that decreasing green belt has caused or resulted in global warming which is known as the greenhouse effect. Secondary activities that involves conversion of raw materials to finished products. So this process is taking place in industries where raw materials are converted to finished products. It could be processing agricultural products to finished products or it could be also the mineral based industries where natural resource like iron ore or maybe iron bauxite or copper is being exploited from the earth and being processed. So this produces byproducts which can contaminate or deplete soil and spoil the quality of the atmosphere. Tertiary activities which involves smooth distribution of finished products. This is nothing but the market. So for market vast land is used, vast infrastructure is being constructed. As a result of market, vast employment opportunities are created. This can cause the inflow of people from different parts and this can again result in massive urbanization. So all these three factors can have an adverse effect on the environment. Hence primary, secondary and tertiary activities leads to environmental degradation. Exploitation of natural resources lead to environmental degradation. Any country rich in natural resources are rich but has 
adverse effect on the environment because as the natural resources are present this can lead to exploitation and the exploitation can have an adverse effect on the living organisms and at the same time spoiling the quality of the environment for example contamination of soil and the industrial effluents contaminating the air so as a whole there is a total destruction of the environment so man as a social partner in the environmental actions man is responsible to reduce or minimize the impact of his activities on the environment to ensure survival of living world in future it's only the man who has the knowledge of creating and destroying so man is been exploiting the natural resource for his well being but at the same time man should also think of the future generation and the adverse effect of the continuous exploitation of natural resource that can cause environmental degradation and at the same time he can also understand that the continuous or consistent degradation and exploitation of the natural resource can very soon put the life into problem hence it is man who can decide what to do for whom to do and for how much to do so that the natural resources can be preserved for the future generation man as a rational partner in the environmental actions as a rational partner in the environmental actions is to reduce or minimize the impact of his activity to ensure judicious use of natural resources by introducing the use of alternative source of resources see students land is been exploited soil is been exploited for agriculture soil also is been exploited for extraction of minerals for example coal is been exploited for generating thermal power and as you all know that coal is a non renewable resource petroleum products are non renewable so to ensure that the petroleum and its products are available for the future generation man can switch over to alternative sources of power for example it could be use of wind energy tidal energy and solar energy so it is in the hands of the man or within the framework of his activities to preserve the quality of the environment so there are various problems associated with the environment there are set of problems associated with the environment in rural areas and at the same time environmental problems associated with the urban areas so let's see what are the various problems associated with the urban areas as far as the environment is concerned human activities have favorable and unfavorable effects on the environment unfavorable effects leads to the environmental problems like uh, impact of agriculture on the environment as you all know that the basic activities of the rural area like agriculture horticulture plantation livestock rearing forestry and mining have an adverse effect on the environment but as far as the agriculture is concerned it has a set of adverse effect on the environment as you all know that the increasing population demands more food so this has led to the deforestation for agricultural land use of fertilizers and pesticide has resulted in the contamination of the soil and use of high yielding varieties of seeds also has put more pressure on the land for consistent production of food due to the growing demand of food as more and more land has been brought under agriculture this has led to the deforestation which has again caused ecological imbalance use of chemical fertilizer as i told you leads to environmental pollution and soil degradation use of high yielding varieties of seeds has caused genetic erosion intensive use of land for other purposes like grazing has affected plant life and resulted in desertification desertification means soil stretch devoid of vegetation due to over exploitation of the soil 
and as you all know that once the soil is devoid of vegetation definitely it will have an adverse climatic effect for example the area can in future not receive rainfall mining and other allied activities area with rich in mineral resource or deposit are subjected to exploitation causing environmental degradation or problems mining has adversely affected physical and biological resources there are two types of mining one is the open pit mining and underground mining both has adverse effect on the environment for example the underground mining where coal is being exploited and as you all know that coal is used for generating power the coal is burned and as the coal is burned you all know that the coal produces the by product by product dumped into the soil can spoil the quality of the soil and the smoke left into the atmosphere which has carbon monoxide can definitely uh, lower the quality of the air in the atmosphere as you all know that more and more underground mining is continued this can result in many other disastrous activities like it can result in slump or caving of land where tall buildings can come down because of the weak support system below the soil open pit mining can cause stagnation of water and as you all know that once the water starts stagnating this can become breeding places of mosquitoes and unwanted insects so this has an adverse effect on the quality of the health of animals and human beings students please keep in mind they can ask you a question what are the adverse effect of mining so there are three adverse effects of mining number 1 defacing of landscape desertification and greenhouse effect defacing of landscape open and underground mining has resulted in soil dumps and clearing of vegetation as you all know that open pit mining can definitely cause or result in defacing of landscape that means hills can disappear or it can also cause natural not natural depression depressions in the uh, land that can cause stagnation of water as mentioned earlier and as far as the defacing landscape is concerned the mined materials used for conversion and the by product produced are dumped into the soil that can again result in contamination of soil and this has an adverse effect on existing natural vegetation desertification as the quality of the soil is degraded this has an adverse effect on natural vegetation and once the soil is devoid of natural vegetation you know that it turns to desert so desertification is another adverse effect of mining greenhouse effect as we have learned earlier that uh, burning of coal burning of petroleum products emits effluents that can result in global warming increased deposition of carbon dioxide reduction of oxygen can cause greenhouse effect so this is because of the over accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that can result in increasing temperature and this can uh, influence the incoming solar radiations and as the result of greenhouse effect as you all know that it is causing many problems like melting of polar ice increasing in the level of sea crumping of land or subsidence of land so all these effects in future can intensify and cause danger to the life of man and other organisms on the earth so these are the 
few activities which is associated with the rural area in the next we will concentrate on the problems associated with the urban areas as far as the environment is concerned